Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a glass and fractal mirror effect in Photoshop. In this video, I tried to teach you an easy and step-by-step -step way. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to make this work editable. After this tutorial, you can add this effect to your other photos with one click. So let's get started. Start by create a new document. Set width to 1500, height to 2000 pixels, and resolution to 300. Import your image to Photoshop and resize it to fit to document. You can drag your image and drop it to the Photoshop. Right-click on Photo Layer and click on Convert to Smart Object. Import the Glass 1 image you downloaded from the description below in this video. There are four images in the downloaded folder which we will use in the following. Also you can create like this images but it's make your work easier. Select the photo layer and press Ctrl and J to make a copy and drag it to the top of the layers. Now go to Filter menu, Blur and Gaussian Blur. Set the radius amount to 15 pixels and press OK. While the Move tool from Tools panel is selected, move the current layer to the left. Clip the current layer to the below. To do this, hold the Alt key and click between the current and below layer. Now, while the current layer is selected, hold the Shift key and click on the below layer, then press Ctrl and G to add the selected layers to a group. Rename it to Glass 1. Import the Glass 2 image. Make a copy from main photo layer and drag it to the top like previous step. From Filter menu, Blur, choose Motion Blur. Set the angle to minus 90 and distance to 40. And press OK. Press Ctrl and T and increase the size of the photo. Clip it to below. Add black and white effect and clip it to below. Select the top three layers and add to a group. Set the group name to Glass 2. Import the Glass 3 image. Decrease the opacity to 50%. Change the blend mode to Linear Dodge Add. Again import the Glass 4 image. And set it to Soft Light. Add a Levels Adjustment layer. Click on the black point slider and drag it to right until the adjust shadow output level increase to 35. Decrease the adjust midtone input level to 0.76 by drag the midtone slider to the right. Add a brightness slash contrast adjustment layer. Decrease the brightness amount to minus 25. Increase the contrast amount to 100. Add an exposure adjustment layer. Increase offset to a small amount, over plus 0.016. To get more better result, you can use the color lookup presets. I choose the soft underscore warming, but you can choose other presets that you want. Finally, if you want to change your photo and keep the effect, you can right click on the photo layer and choose edit contents or double-click on the left side of the photo layer to open it in the new window. Now import your new photo and resize it. From the File menu, click on the Save. And as you can see, the photo content is changed and effect is work correctly. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like the video and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Wait for the next tutorials.